Ah, screw it. What is one fact you know that will make other people respond with, and why the f asterisk asterisk k do you know that? Regarding the Museum of Mummies. Ferdinand I of Naples governed by oppression. He had zero compassion for his defeated enemies, and after falsely promising them amnesty, he had them murdered instead. After their murders, he would have them mummified and added to his museum of mummers dressed in their clothes. If he thought anyone was plotting against him, he'd simply take them on a casual tour of the museum, which was totally morbid, but effective. I read an article that was a confessional in an Udi mag when I was a teen. Basically, guy falls for older woman and they start dating and having sex, extremely frequently. They'd be boinking in their day offs for the entire day and would have sleep sex. They talked about their history and guy was given for adoption and woman was a teen mom who had to give up her kid. They took a DNA test but never revealed the results, got married and had kids. Guy then confessed that the results showed they were mother and son but they opted to hide the fact and resume their relationship. She was 14 years older than him, and their kids had no anomalies whatsoever. If you're trying to destroy a body, a strong base will be much more successful than a strong acid. Acids are difficult to legally acquire due to them being ingredients in explosives. Caustic soda is much more useful and accessible, as it's an ingredient in soaps. When it's done you'll have a liquid that you can then place in barrels and bury somewhere. Even the bones will be broken down to an extremely brittle calcium deposit, which you can easily crush and filter off. You can then dispose of the liquid as you wish. It makes great fertilizer. Alternatively, use pigs. They eat anything and will leave no traces. And once again, pig shit is great fertilizer. Most birds don't have intermittent reproductive organs, like a penis or vagina, and they share their genes through a hole, called a cloaca, that leads to their inner organs. The act is called a cloacal kiss, and is over super fast. Most duck species, however, do have intermittent organs. The penis is shaped like a corkscrew, and can be 50% or more of the length, if the duck in some species. This is because the vagina is an elaborate maze of twists and turns creating an evolutionary arms race between the sexes. The longest duck dick award goes to the Argentine lake duck. Though he is a mere 15 inches long, his dangling corkscrew is up to 16 inches erect. Now that's got to produce some drag. Yeah I read about that, to add to this, dolphins in the Amazon river like to engage in homosexual intercourses by penetrating each other's blowhole. Dude, knock it off. I can't fucking breathe. You say that, as if that's not how blowjobs work. Jeffrey Dahmer tried to make sex zombies out of some of his victims by drilling holes in their heads while they were still alive and pouring acid into the holes. I was listening to a podcast yesterday that mentioned that. His last victim escaped but had had this procedure done and when he tried to tell police, he couldn't physically communicate that he had been abducted and tortured. Dama caught up with him and convinced the police that the boy was just tired and needed some rest. They agreed and let Dama take him back. Scary stuff. If you are stranded on a desert island with only the bodies of other people as a source of food, you will want to only eat the thigh, arms, and butt as they are the most easily prepared parts of the human body. All other parts are either too close to vital bacteria infested organs or are just unsafe to eat in general for instance the brain the thighs arms and butt can be easily cooked over a small fire to make it safe to eat even though the actual caloric intake of human flesh is nutritionally less viable than most other animals when the pilgrims first landed in america they found these weird dirt mounds in a field so they dug them up and discovered they were native american graves oops they returned everything, but then came back later to take the cooking pots and utensils that had been buried with the corpses. They apparently packed really light on the way over and didn't bring basic household essentials, which would be really useful in, oh I don't know, starting a fucking colony. Anybody who has ever had to write a paper knows what 12 point font is. This point system relates to measurements for fonts, type, and certain design element. 12 points go into 1 pix, and 6 pix go into 1 inch. 
while sizes vary from font to font even within the relative standardization of font sizes, if you need font that is about 1 inch tall, you want 72 point font, because 6 pix times 12 points is 72. For 2 inch font, 144, for 3 inch font 216, and so on. Story from my anatomy and physiology teacher in community college. She had this young 20-something girl who never said a single thing until they spoke about the hyoid bone. This girl never says anything else for the whole quarter, but when the teacher brings up that bone she pipes in with the hyoid bone, is broken in most strangulation attempts, with a total deadpan face, and never says another word the rest of the quarter, silenced the whole classroom. The first commercial jet exploded midair because the windows were squared. The stress on the cabin was too great and when pressure rising, this caused the plane to explode. When Boeing and Lockheed came out with their planes, they had round windows. These windows were also smaller. The first commercial jet BTW was called the de Havilland Comet and flew at 40,000 feet. The engines were tiny and looked really cool. Boeing's first commercial jet the 707 later came out while the Comet was grounded. Then the L-1011 came out as the first wide body and the comet was forgotten and untrustworthy. So you murdered someone and don't have the energy to dismember or clean blood stains? Bury the body 2 meters deep, then cover the hole a meter deep, kill a large dog, bury it on top of that grave, and then cover the rest of the meter deep hole. That way sniffer dogs or people won't find the body, just a dead dog. Bonus points if you kill the dog of the guy you had to kill. But then now you have two dead dogs and that might be a problem. Unless you dig a 3 meter hole and bury all the bodies at 1 meter intervals. And then kill a squirrel and place it on top of the grave to mark it. Former NFL player Rob Gronkowski is the great grandson of Olympic cyclist Ignatius Gronkowski, who held several cycling world records in the 1920s. At least one girl out of 100.000 will have the vaginal and anal tracts fused together, meaning that they can in fact get pregnant doing anal. This is something my BO teacher taught me last year. Basically, male barnacles have the longest penis to body ratio and the penis actually extends out of the barnacle and goes searching around for female barnacles to have sex with. The reason why Egyptian mummers are so rare nowadays is because the Europeans ate them. They believed that eating a mummy would have medicinal benefits and the spirit of the person they consumed would watch over and protect them. They were also burned for firewood in Egypt. Burned mummies were also used as pigment for paints. A lot of the most famous painting use back quote mummy brown. Eaten. Ground for pigments. Burned. There's lots of reasons people destroyed mummies. We fee access points are open source and documented on several websites across the internet so, if you ever use your phone to open an access point for someone you could later be tracked by your initial SSID as it is paired with your phone's MAC address. And that's just one way your cell phone is tracked. You're using very misleading terminology. I assume you're referring to Wi-Fi positioning databases that collect SSIDs and correlate them with actual physical location to later be able to do the reverse. Triangulate your physical location by knowing which SSIDs are broadcasting around you. Yeah, the terminology is wrong and frankly the whole comment is wrong. Open source means the source code that people wrote, like programmers, is available, not the database. You can be tracked by Mac, but that would require a single database holding every app's connection log, and that doesn't exist, because they are owned by lots of different people. Actually I can perfectly see why you would acquire such knowledge. Not sure what to make of this comment. We fee access points are open source just doesn't make sense at all. The rest is also difficult to make out due to grammar issues and technologically misleading statements. This one is from my girlfriend. I was texting her about some loud neighbors who were partying and I said something along the lines of them sounding like illness. She was like fun fact, the genitalia of the female hyena closely resembles that of the male, the clitoris is shaped and positioned like a penis, a pseudopenis, and is capable of erection. The female also possesses no external vagina, vaginal opening, as the labia are fused to form a pseudoscrotum. I was taken a bit back at my newfound knowledge. Then she's like sorry I really like hyenas and sorta of latched onto that subject. I started laughing. Oh. 
She also mentioned that female hyenas basically give birth through a penis. I grabbed my crotch in pain at the thought.